We're here with Katya Yakuman of Altia. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, let's start talking a little bit about Altia. If you could explain to us what the company does and, and how it can help a company that's looking to outsource in Honduras. Yes. Altia Business Park is the first technology park in Honduras. It was designed and built especially for the BPO industry and the IT industry in the country. So it was the first park uh, developed in Honduras and one of the most modern in Central America. Uh, the building is completely redundant in energy, in telecommunications, in power. We do everything. So we do completely turnkey spaces. So we do everything from the... We, we have different options. We rent in shell, finish. We do finish with furniture, finish with equipment, computers, headsets. So basically, you know, the, the company just has to come and move in. And we do everything for them. We also do the recruitment part. So we also have a brand under Alte Business Park, which is sign up, get a job. So it's a database. We have about 8,000 people, and we're constantly doing job fairs to recruit more people. So we can actually do all the hiring also for the company. So for example, if a company needs to, needs to start operations, hire 1,000 people, we do that for them. So we also do the recruitment. So that's, uh, we're the most modern park. It's completely redundant. Um, we have power backup, water backup, uh, energy backup. Also, um, the concept is very unique. Mm -hmm. It's a very unique concept, um, one of a kind, like you'll find in countries like India, Philippines, Hong Kong. Um, the park, um, currently we have one tower which is operating. We're in the process to build um, two more towers. It's going to be five towers in total. Uh, we also have a university campus which is going to be inside the park, so that, that guarantees the sustainability as well as the labor pool, for the labor pool. We also have a village center, which is a, a central, uh, like a commercial area with food court, restaurants. It's also within the park. And we also have a recreational center, which is a cafeteria center to sit 500 people. It has game rooms, uh, lounges. So we have a whole concept. You know, it's a technology park. We have the, the recreational center, the university, the five towers. Once the building is complete, we can have five towers. Currently, we have one running and two under construction. One is going to be ready in August. And the third tower is going to be ready in December of this year. Could you uh, explain a little bit about the current state of BPO in Honduras? Yes. Honduras is an emerging market. We're relatively new to this industry, but we're growing a lot. Um, as you know, in Central America, like countries like Costa Rica, Guatemala, markets are really saturated. So it's very hard to find people now. You know, um, salaries are very high in Costa Rica. There's a lot of um, attrition rates are high as well. So Honduras has become a really strong player in this market. We already have um, global players like um, StarTech BPO operating in Altia. We have global players, Stream Global also operating. Uh, they're, they're, we just signed with them. They're going to start operating in August. So this is a very good time for Honduras because, you know, Honduras is becoming a very strong and solid player. And people are starting to realize, you know, all the potential that, that Honduras has as a country and all the incentives that we have. You know, we, we have many things as a country that make it really attractive. So Honduras is starting to emerge. We're, we're emerging and we're growing and people are starting to see, you know, all the benefits of being in Honduras. And, you know, one of the good things about the, the current market now is that it's relatively virgin, but not as virgin as that you're going to be the first one there, you know. So we already have big players operating there that have big operations of a thousand or more people. So um, you know that the market works, that the labor pool is there, you know that the country has qualified people to work, which is really important. But it's still in a, pro in a, in a process where it's not that saturated. So, you know, we have a lot of people that are wanting to come to Honduras right now and start their VPO operations because it's a perfect time to position yourself in the country. Now, you did mention some of the benefits of, of um you know, going into Honduras. If you could explain a little bit about some of the other benefits that might, that might be in the country. Yes, Honduras um, is a very bilingual country. We have had U.S. presence for more than 100 years. Mm -hmm. We actually, this is, a, this is something very, that a lot of people don't know about Honduras. We have 728 bilingual schools in the, in the whole country. So we have more bilingual schools than all of Central America combined. Actually, in San Pedro Sula, which is the industrial capital where Altia Business Park is located, we have 288 schools. Like compared to countries like Guatemala that have 50, Costa Rica, they have 60, you know, so we have a lot of bilingual schools. So people, you'll find accents like mine, like I was born and raised in Honduras, so my English was learned in Honduras. So you'll find neutral accents, you know, people that speak perfect English. And people, we have a very high unemployment rate. Our unemployment rate is 38%. So there's a lot of qualified people, you know, people that um, backgrounds in engineering, in business, in accounting, in finance. 
and that want to work, you know, and that they don't have anywhere else to work. So this industry has become very important in generating jobs and people really want to work in this industry. Also, you know, our salaries. Salaries and nurses are very competitive. I mean, they are the, the most cost competitive in the region. We're way in there with, Guata, uh, with Nicaragua. I think we're a little bit cheaper than Nicaragua in salary wise. So the salaries and for the type of talented labor pool you find also makes Honduras a very, very, very attractive country. You know, we're in the middle of Central America. We have the most important port in the country there uh, to travel, you know, from the States to the United States to Honduras is a two hour plane ride. So we're really close, you know, the proximity to the US. Um, Altia is really close to all the main universities and the main university is going to be in Altia. So we really have, um, we have an English speaking population of more than 80,000 people. And this number grows every year with the 4,000 people that graduate the different universities. So, you know, I think um, the salaries, the people, you know, just the, the culture affinity too. You know, we have a lot of culture affinity with, um, with, the U with the U.S. So right now our customers, they're really happy. They love the people. They love the accents. They can't believe there's such a talented labor pool in Honduras. And of course, you know, the price is real estate costs. Mm -hmm. We also have, we have great telecom costs. And Honduras is a country. We're very centrally located. We have um, three submarine cables that pass through Honduras, you know, so we're very strategic in, in the telecom side of the business too. And we also are very competitive price-wise in telecom. Well, thank you very much, Katia, for, for joining us I appreciate us today. it. Thank you very much. Thank you.